Hi everyone. On this video, we're going to be talking about accordions with registers and accordions without registers, and whether or not you need them for yourself. So stick around and find out. Hi everyone. This is Aaron from Alamo Music. Visit us online at alamomusic.com. And on today's video, we're going to be diving into this whole, you know, different type of accordion configurations when it comes to the registers. So with the accordions in general, you hear a lot of terms that are thrown around, like, uh, for example, the voicing, you know, the tuning, the key. And um, at the end of the day, accordions are really complex machines. There's a lot that's going on, on the inside. And the way you can think about it is it's pretty much a giant harmonica. Um, similarly to a harmonica, you blow and draw air through um, the different reeds on a harmonica, and this is no different, this instrument. The only difference is the lung is the bellows, and then you open up each chamber with the buttons. Well, whenever you're going to uh, look at different accordions, or maybe you're interested in purchasing one, and you may see something like this on the accordion. So here you have um, these registers. Um, some accordions only have, you know, three, some have five, some have eight. Um, if you look at chromatic accordions, for example, you see a whole bunch of those different registers available, you know, to use. Um, and it just varies on the instrument. But what are registers really? Well, going back to what I was saying is the accordion is just pretty much a giant harmonica. And similarly to a harmonica, you, you air passes through reeds. Well, on the diatonic accordion specifically, whenever you have those different reeds, you can actually have them tuned differently to achieve different sounds. So the thing with re register versus no register accordions is that the ones without registers, you're kind of just locked into that one sound, whatever the tuning is like. Um, when it comes to accordions with registers, you can actually have a little more flexibility in terms of the, the style of the sound that is being produced by the instrument. So we're going to demonstrate that a little bit today. Um, here with me to demonstrate that I have a Honor Corona 2 Classic in the key of F, B flat, E flat. And then over here to my left, I have a Italiano um, in the key of GCF. So we're going to, you know, demonstrate some of the sounds and we'll talk about a little bit more in depth of uh, why you may choose one over the other. So to start out with the Corona 2, um, all the Corona models and, and lower, so you have your Corona 2, your Corona 2 Classic, your Extremes, you have your Corona 3s, you have the Compadre, you have Rey de Vallenato, you have the Panther. Um, all those models of those Honor Coronas are not gonna have registers with them. They're gonna see over here on, on the, uh, the grill that is just, there's nothing there. There's no, no buttons or anything like that. So what that means is whatever sound the accordion is tuned to, because you tune those reeds, um, that's the sound you're going to have forever and always. So for example, this accordion is tuned. Um, uh, I should mention also that this is a two voice accordion. So um, the reed sound is not going to be very, very wet, but it's tuned a little more wet, where it's not so much like a dry, you know, single reed sound or like an organetto sound. And the thing that's nice about this is that you can change the tuning. Um, you can make it sound, uh, for example, a more wet sound, a more dry sound, maybe an octave. So I'll demonstrate that with uh, the Italiano here in a second, what that sounds like. But you can change the style of sound of any of these non-registered accordions. It's just when you do change them, it's going to be like that until you either go back in, redo all of the tuning of each reed on the reed blocks, and or you know um, just stay with whatever you know whatever tuning it comes with. So here's like one more time the sound of the uh, Corona 2 and this is just the factory tuning so this is the style that it comes with out of the factory so now if I jump over to the uh, Italiano let's start you know messing with some of these registers here to see what sounds we can produce so here I'm gonna start at the top down and this right here um, is 
the bassoon setting, so you're going to hear it's very low, low, low sound. And then if we go to the next setting, which is the bandone setting, you'll hear that this is more of that octave sound that I was talking about. And then the master setting here. The violin setting. And it, it should be, uh, I should make a note here that the violin setting on most of these um, Anacleto models is going to be the same style or the same um, tuning of the reeds on any of the uh, other lines. So for example, the Corona 2 and all the other ones that we mentioned earlier, it's a very similar sound. So if I were to just you know, pick this up and... And I were to play the same chord on here. Oh, actually, F. There it is. So you'll hear how they they're very similar in um, the tuning. It's not so dramatic of a change. And then also the last sitting here, clarinet. So that's a single reed sound. This is single reed, two reeds on. You can immediately hear how it is more wet. So that's the thing you get with any of the accordions that have switches. Um, and the thing as well um, to mention is that earlier I said that you could change the tuning on these accordions, on any of the, the accordions that don't have uh, registers on them. It's just you'll be stuck to that sound. So for example, if say I like this sound, which is the bandone setting on here, it has that octave sound. It makes a uh, you know, it gives it the sound more depth on every button. I could achieve that same sound on this accordion here by opening it up, you know, retuning all of the, uh, the reeds, and you can have the same sound. So that option is available. But if you want to, you know, change it back and say, hey, I, I want a song for this sound right here, and then I have another song that I want this sound on, well then, you can't do that with just this one box if you were to do uh, change the, the uh, tuning or the style of the uh, reed sound. So now the big question, which one, which one do I want? Well, something that you'll uh, hear a lot on this channel is that the choice is really yours as a musician. Uh, personally, you know, I like the feel of um, According to that I really don't have registers, that's just my personal take. Um, but what does that mean for me as a musician? Well, if I want to achieve multiple styles of those reed sounds, I would need to carry more accordions with me. Um, or, you know, purchase more accordions. So that can get pretty uh, pricey very quickly. Another thing as well to consider is that a lot of these accordions that come out of the, or I should say all the accordions that come out of the factory are gonna be tuned to uh, this sound, which is just that regular, typical Corona sound that you get. So if I would want to change it to something else, like in the octaves or um, a little more deeper voicing, um, I would have to pay additional to that for an accordion um, technician or repairsman or someone who does work on the reeds to go in and do all of that labor. So that's going to cost you additional. So that's just one consideration. So even though your Corona box is um, cheaper than you know anything in the Anacleto line, it, it does you know start getting pricey as you start doing more of those configuration modifications. Another thing as well to consider is that most times these boxes that have registers, they're typically more heavy because you have a lot more hardware going on in the inside. Um, you know, there's a lot more metal in there that's used to uh, pretty much cover or uncover or change you know which of those um, air valves, or not air valves, but those holes where the reeds are um, to achieve the different sounds. So that's something to consider as well. So maybe um, you're a player and you have, you know, some trouble with, you know, having all that weight on you constantly when you're playing. Well, it may be a little extreme or maybe a, a little more for you to try and pick up an accordion with more register that's heavier when you can get a lighter accordion without the registers, without as much hardware. So another major consideration. And 
As an accordion instructor, I always get asked, which one should I get? Well, it really comes down to you. If you want more sounds and you're willing to pay a little bit higher premium to get the registers that have on an accordion that has all the different sounds, well, you know, the choice is yours to go ahead and get that. Um, most times you won't actually see beginner line models or uh, I, I haven't seen any yet at least, but beginner intermediate line models that have registers. Most of them just come, you know, just the way they are configured um, without that option. As you start getting to your higher line of accordion, um, more of the professional grade models, um, of course, all the anecletos. And if you were to just go to about just any other accordion manufacturer, you would probably see the same thing. Um, a lot of the higher end models are gonna have the registers on them to choose from. So once again, uh, I'm Aaron from Alamo Music, and if you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, let us know down below. And also, you know, we wanna know, what is it that you prefer? Accordions, diatonic accordions, chromatic accordions. Uh, do you want like accordions with the registers on them? Do you like accordions without registers? Um, you know, let us know down below. And make sure to like and subscribe to the video and stay up to date with more content. And we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.